G'day everyone, I'm glad you're here. My name is Fancy Felix and today we're going to be having a look at a little game called Word Rescue. And um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, I can't be domin Dominator. Dominator, oh god. Fine. Decimator. Damn it. How about... Annihilator. Oh, screw it. Let's just call me Egbert. Ooh, you see, you have a choice of characters in this one, which is great. You can either be white boy or black girl. I'll be white. No, I'll be black girl to prove I'm not racist. Here's the story. The mean Gruzzles can't read. Oh my god. Basically, the whole story is there's these pissed off creatures called Gruzzles. They can't read. And they're like, hey, if we can't read, nobody can read. And they're gonna go, they've been around and stolen all the words from the books. And it's your job to get them back. Uh, to do so, you need to jump into a question mark block, and it tells you a word, and you gotta find a picture of that word. Oh no, see, that's a gruzzle. Stay the hell away from those. And if you press spacebar, your friendly uh, Benny the Butterfly will come and save you by dumping this kind of ugh, ugh, gooey stuff on him. And um, that's pretty much the meat of it. Alright, so a pot. I successfully matched the word pot to the picture of the pot. Now I have to find a toe. Ooh, okay. Give me a toe. Where's a toe? Ugh, there's a toe. I don't know if I want to touch it. I guess I have to. Ugh, I feel dirty. A cop. There's a cop. Good on you, buddy. Protect and serve and all that. What's this? A rat. Oh, you're making this too easy for me. Look at that happy little guy. He's like on some serious shit. All these little pink books just give you points, so ignore those. Gun! Isn't this a kid's game? Yeah, this is meant to be an educational game. Um, quote unquote uncage, occasion education. Yeah? How I talk. It's a quote unquote educational game. Uh, educational value is very debatable. What am I looking for now? Another cup. Did I walk past it? I don't know. And I am playing on easy mode because I'm a wimp. Because what I found was if you put it on the medium or harder difficulty, the words don't get any more difficult. They're just, they just dump a whole lot of extra gruzzles on you. Which is a load of goddamn bullcrap, if you ask me. They should increase the difficulty of the words. Like, these are all three-letter words. That's pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. And it says, like, hard mode is ages 10 and up. A ten-year-old can spell four or five-letter words. At least I would hope so. I wanted to see some stuff like... Some long words, like, uh, uh, characteristically, and discipline, and pneumono ultramicroscopic silico volcanoconiosis. Why can't we have those? It'd be a bit hard to draw a picture of that, I guess. But come on, hat? I, ugh, hat. Where's a hat? Oh, there's a hat. Feeling fancy. And, oh yeah, see at the bottom of the screen there's a word ant. You get even more bonus points if you get all those three letters randomly in the level. Um, don't fall in the goo either, that's another fancy Felix tip for you. My pro strats, don't fall in the goo crap. Ant, well, where are we gonna find an ant? What kind of freaking village is this anyway? Oh, that's a dog. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Come on, where's an ad? Aha! Uh -huh. It's this then. Dog. I think I saw a dog down here. There's a happy little dog. Car. Uh, my memory's terrible. I know I saw it, but where? That is the question. Nope, not up there. There's a car. Alright. Man, this is a very basic game. But I... We, everyone loved this game when I was a kid. I know I talk about a lot about my childhood. Maybe it pisses you off, but too bad. When I was a kid, they installed these on every computer in the school. Because uh, the whole computer thing was like really new and exciting. People weren't used to using computers. And they thought, hey, let's let's put this educational game on the kids, so on the computers. So all the kids can learn and we learn nothing. But we had a lot of fun doing it. So now we're gonna find a run. And there was also a spin-off which came after, I think. I'm not sure if it was after or before, but I'm gonna assume after because it's prettier, called Math Rescue. And that one is arguably at least a little bit more educational. It gives you actual math problems. And they do get progressively difficult. More difficult if you want them to. Alright, Mr. Caterpillar. I thought you were a butterfly. Oh, I forget your name. Take my words and turn them into a key. So I can save all the, the books. From, from being destroyed by the illiterate gruzzles. This game's got pretty funky music too. So funky. It's like kind of jazzy. I like it. I like it a lot. Purple. Oh my god. I take back everything I ever said. The, we got a word that was more than three letters. One. Where am I going to find a one? What does a one look like? Just the number one? Oh, look at that grizzle. What a hideous monstrosity. He's all like, I can't read and shit. Come on. Get, oh, down the hole. Is that a one? No. It's a can. That's what happens if you choose the wrong one. Evil Gruzzle appears. But if you hit spacebar, you can dump more crap on him. Uh, spoon. Let's go on a quest to find... There it is. Can. Aha. Uh -huh. I saw a can earlier, I'm sure of it. No! Well, that's what happens when you die. You have to start all over again. It's fantastic, and I'm thrilled. <sighs> Gas. Alright. Gas. What's with this background, anyway? Am I in, like, the Himalayas or Alaska or something? I'm not good with geography, but... Tell me where we are, it's important to me. Spoon again, are you in the same spot? No. Everything gets rearranged. It's so difficult. There's a spoon. Sit. These are inspired words, by the way. The action of sitting. One. Was one back here? Yep. Alright. Now let's go find a horse. I saw a horse, but that was not a horse. That probably made no sense. What I'm saying is that's not a horse. It's a freaking giraffe. Look at it. It's yellow. Oh, whatever. I don't know what to believe anymore, really. Alright. Two more words. Can. Isn't can up here? 
Yeah. And then it's purple. Alright, suck my words out. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, why do you have to do this so slowly? Come on, Mr. Caterpillar Man. <sighs> Alright, where's the exit? Press the wrong button. Oh no. Oh, you are kidding me. You are kidding me. I hate you so much, game. I. Oh. At least let me keep the. Freaking key. Ugh. God damn pitfalls. See, the problem is I pressed the, the slime button instead of the jump button. Because up is jump and space is slime. Which is not very intuitive. Where's the spoon? Give me the spoon. I'm quitting out after this level, by the way. Just want to see what the next one looks like. Purple, not this way. We've got sit and gas over there. Sit and gas, sit and gas, sit and gas. Draft there. Purple here. Gas. Come on, let's get some gas. Get an N over here. Ends are good. There's the gas. And there's the E to finish the word at the bottom. There you go. Do you like that little sound effect? It makes me feel like I'm worth something. Horse. I'm telling you, it's not a horse, buddy. Ain't no horses I ever seen look like that. Uh, 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 one. Easy. Well, what's next? Nothing over here. Alright, come on. I'm finishing this level. I don't care. Sit. Alright. After we sit, it's all done. Sit was over here. Yeah, man, take my words. This is some dark magic stuff going on. I just realized this is kind of weird. Should I be creeped out? No, no, I'm being paranoid. Just because there's a flying caterpillar with an umbrella who's sucking words out of a book to create a key to get me through a door to fight some gruzzle monsters this is nothing of the supernatural variety and here we are at the castle which is one huge level I have a lot of memories of this one but I think you've pretty much seen everything word rescue has to offer by now so hey thanks for watching you should have a look at word rescue if you've got the patience for it can be pretty frustrating. <laughs> Drop me a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. And I'll see you next time.